and welcome back to Aston Martin here at race number 11. At the end of this, we'll be at the halfway point for season three, and we're in a pretty commanding spot already. I'm still... I would still say there's more than a 50% chance that the guys behind will catch us, but that chance is going down by every passing race. I will just say also, in regards to the last race as well, apologies for the sound issues. Normally when I record, I have the game sound turned down, but then I had to do the post-recording, which meant I had to record the recording at 100% again. So the game sound was a bit louder last time around. I apologise for that. I did catch it halfway through. So the race was probably tolerable. But if you couldn't stand the volume during qualifying, apologies for that. Um, but speaking of qualifying, there's no news for us. There's no new car parts. We're not intending to take any penalties. We've not done anything in the background. One of the facilities is just tipped down. We're refurbing it. That's all that there is to talk about. So I will see you for qualifying. First and foremost, ignore mix time. I managed to get him to 100% by the end of practice three. So I did the usual low fuel soft tire run just to see what the pace might be a little bit more representative of there was rain in one of the practices so i had to run mediums in practice three as well so they were way down the tables and mick came out behind jack do i think it was so i had to deploy everything to get past him because everyone gets drs in practices and he couldn't get past him otherwise so that's how he ended up with the fastest time was the fact he was on full deploy for just one lap and then he ended up at the very top by accident almost pierre didn't have that and technically actually tops this table the surprise is lando and if we sort of mediate our expectations of pierre as well on just on the basis that he was on a low fuel soft tire run not pushing anything but still low fuel soft tire run lando probably is legitimately the fastest one in this practice session danny rick at the very bottom might be because he had a very severe crash in one of the practice sessions and might be severely damaged as a result so it's quite funny seeing the mclaren effectively first and last but yeah, no issues. 100, 100, 100. Mick went off a couple of times, damaged an underfloor on one of them, but that's minor and we should be okay. Key point here, light rain schedule for Saturday. Didn't have it in practice, so there's going to be rain in qualifying. I'm not quite sure how possible it is to get hindered on this one just because of the amount of straights. I, I think really the only way you get hindered is if you catch someone in the middle part around this kind of bone end section. Otherwise, I think it's relatively easy to get past and nobody's come out in a perilous position anyway. So first lap in, shouldn't be a problem. Bam, on the board, 103, 8, 104, basically. Mick faster than Bottas though. Sorry to run wide, that's why he had a moment, but we'll let everyone come in. Norris slower, does actually surprise me. The margins are fine at the Red Bull ring just because it's a short lap, so I wouldn't count too many chickens. Just checking if the rain was going to come at the very end of the session, which would make obviously running worthless. It isn't. Sonoda Sargent, probably in bomb five. Stroll and Joe have done very comfortable time, so I think they're probably about there. And Ricardo seems to be broken. I think I can get away with risking this. Ricardo stays bottom five. Stroll does get out. Sargent gets out, actually. This could be great work from Sargent, unless Magazine goes faster. I think he's yet to cross the line. It's excellent work from Sargent. Mick didn't even go down a place. Yeah, Danny Ricks McLaren is just broken. Lando in 10th surprises me. Where's the pace gone? And we're starting in intermediates. That's interesting. Okay. We're going to end up with like three soft tyres for the race. Right, immediately pause. Check the weather. So it's always going to intermediate, so I don't really feel I don't really feel shush. I don't really feel the need. It's never gonna be dry. I don't really see the reason not to go twice. I don't think there's gonna be a great amount of difference between time at the beginning and the end, but it might just be nice to get a banker in. In case someone goes off in these intermediate weather conditions or whatever. I don't know. Just get the time in. The time's like the rain level's coming down. People might do faster times as a result. But you know, if there's a crash, then so be it. Okay, that's actually quite a significant gap in weather i mean the sweet spot looks like it would have been next lap but we're not going to get out in time for that obviously it's a 108 in the rain so i wonder when people are going to come out here we obviously need to go again we're in the bottom five i don't think we actually need i don't think we actually want to be last across the line because there's kind of a little dip here so i think by the sake of a a, a few fractures of a millimeter you don't want to be last across but we'll go on board with mick when we get to the lap itself i think there we go oh my god they came out so far apart you saw, you saw when I clicked Mick Schumacher to come out, it was behind the Merc that was behind Gasly. It was basically just as Gasly came out of the pits, I clicked on Mick, expecting him to come out behind the Merc. And he came out one, two, three, four, five, six, six cars further back. That's crazy. It's crazy you couldn't get in the gap between the Ferrari and the Alpha Tauri. I mean, there'll be only one car further up the road, but it's crazy that he didn't manage to get in that. Two people didn't come back out again. No, Leclerc didn't come back out again. Just Leclerc, the... Hamilton was just first across the line. Based on a faster first sector, Gasly's gone top. Someone's gone wide, which has me concerned. Oh, I think it was actually the Haas behind. Thank God I'm it was. There. So Bottas out as things stand. Sergeant was a 13th. is quite impressive, actually. And Vettel's gone wide, so he's going to miss. 
but mix up to... I can't even see him. Sixth. I like the fact I, like the fact that I said I was going to watch Schumacher and then watch Gasly instead for half that lap. So Vettel, Sergeant, Dewan, Bottas, Ocon. All right, no real surprises. Leclerc got away with it. Lando, fourth. I wonder if it's still wet. It is still wet. Okay, well, that's interesting because I suspect it's going to dry up here. Oh, it isn't. Get out straight away. This lap matters. This lap matters. This lap matters. Please, no one come out and block us. Okay, Ross has come out and blocked us. And we're going to catch him at the worst place as well. Oh, my God. Mick's on pole. Mick did better than Gasly. Mick was hindered less. Oh, it might dry up again by the end of this. Okay, so it's going to come back down again a little bit. Oh, I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, I'm going to have to. I mean, you get like 90 laps on these tyres here. So I suppose of functionality is about 60 laps worth. But I wish I clocked what the actual level of water was when we did these laps. Uh, it might be a case of coming out as late as possible this time. Is that the mode going for the first? It is. Wait, what? I actually have to reconfigure them to put fuel back in. Forgot about that part, but that's going to take literal seconds. So these guys might do faster times now. Right, so let's see how many cars Mick has to wait for. There's a Red Bull and a McLaren at least. Yeah, Mick's last on track. <laughs> Mick's on pole. I mean, it's wet weather. The heritage is there. Like, if my guys aren't going faster here, then I know the track is just not as good as it was when they did their lap first. This is still the warm-up lap. I don't know why I'm watching it. We'll actually go on board with me this time. He's on pole, as things stand. I kind of left you for Pierre last time, but let's watch. I kind of keep an eye on Gasly's first exit, so Gasly's slower in the first exit. So I think... I don't think people are going to go faster now. I think the water levels are higher than they were when we did our laps, still. These guys might shift around because I think it was lower than when they did their laps, but I think they might still end up a few tenths off. Both drivers have gone slower in the first sector. Now, I think they both caught Russell in the second sector, so they might do faster second sectors. And Russell's crossed the line and not gone faster. Hamilton's crossed the line and not gone faster. That's interesting. I was expecting Hamilton to at least go faster, because I think he may have got caught a little bit by the rain and a little bit by Russell. Leclerc goes faster to 6 tenths. Someone's gone wide there, and that's going to prevent Mick from doing anything faster anyway. Gasly, despite being hindered on his lap, has actually still gone slower. So I think there goes Norris into fourth. That's four tenths. Verstappen into third. He got a little bit close towards the end there. Mick. Mick's on pole. Mick's on pole in what is probably the closest to possibly being a German race. The hills are alive. The sound of Shumi. Ah. Ooh. I feel like... I feel proud on behalf of the Schumacher family here. I know I know. Pierre was held up by Russell, so thanks, George. But get in, Mick. I don't know what to do for the race. I don't know what to do for the race. Do I just let them fight? Or do I get Pierre to hold them up? The race is dry, just cloudy. Can be a one-stop, but I mean, all strategies are one-stop. So, okay, so apparently it's just medium to hard is basically the situation. There is a chance of safety car here. I'm pretty certain safety car isn't... Yeah, I'm pretty certain safety car is a thing that just happens. Oh, there is actually going to be track evolution here. Interesting. But um, I kind of feel like going on mediums at the start. You know what I might do? Yeah, give Mick the best fighting chance possible. We've got so many soft tyres. The problem comes with safety cars. Early safety cars might just blow this race completely wide open. We had one year with three or more and one year with one of each. There were two races with no deployments at all in the last four. It's a long pit time here, surprisingly. For such a short lap, it's an incredibly long pit time, which is probably why one pit stop's worthwhile. Yeah, so there's not a lot of difference between the tyres here. But the, similarly, the degradation per lap is less, and DRS helps you keep in it, so that's that's why it's kind of helpful. <sighs> do I flip them? Do I do this? I kind of want to put him on the same strategy. I kind of wanted to look at his profile. I'm generally trying to remember if Mick won that racing calendar last year, or if this could be his first chance at a win. Oh, obviously, as well. In all the... Excitement there, and then he forgot to actually set them off the line. Let's risk it. Mick Schumacher there. They're in pole position, and they've got to be happy about that. I know I am. The crowd are ready. The cars are ready. It's the Austrian Grand Prix. It's lights out, and away we go. Oh, interestingly, I've just noticed straight off the line, Verstappen and Russell are also on hards. Is everyone on a hard? Okay, Sainz and Leclerc are on mediums. There's only four of the drivers going medium to hard rather than the other way around. So this is all for Mick. He's got to try and drive away. And with that in mind, I might actually tell Pierre not to deploy. You're on different You're on different strategies, Pierre. Don't even bother. Don't even bother. And in fairness, you actually get fairly borderline anyway, so let's not push yeah, these tyres from here. We're actually, we're actually broken a second on Verstappen here, by the way. Like, straight away. Mick's just driven off and taken Pierre with him. Okay, so no incidents. DRS will be active. Verstappen now in no man's land, but I do wonder if the train behind Russell is going to effectively put him back into one. Gasly's not going to leave Mick alone here, I now realise. It's been an incident already, but it's not a significant one. I actually wonder if taking off Doe Fight teammate might be the shout here, just letting them swap over. 
Because the benefit of DRSing each other might be a useful thing to build up the gap. So we gained half a second on that one lap alone. Yeah, even trying to overtake each other into that corner, we gained two tenths. I think sometimes it might be a minor detriment, but the most of the time it's going to be a benefit. And the times when Pierre's but the times when mixed behind is going to help him save fuel as well. Just obviously the one concern is crashing into each other. I can't work out who's faster. Because I think effectively they, right now they're basically identical. I just realized I never came in at any point during this race so far. Apologies for that. But I'm trying to work out if, who's actually faster between the two of them. Yeah, because with the RS, whoever took the lead in that pairing was doing a faster lap than Verstappen. But for some reason, it wasn't quite working as well as I hoped. It's 2.8 the gap. I think it's marginally coming down. I think maybe without DRS, that's going to come down. See, that was quite a nice DRS straight because they kind of got alongside each other and then Mick had the DRS again to pull away again. So they sort of both got the benefit of one round of DRS there and pulled away a few tenths. But the concern is obviously an incident. So right now, Pierre's got the DRS up this straight, takes the lead, and Mick's going to have the DRS down this straight and take it back again. Now, it's just whether or not, of course, they fight each other long enough to actually hinder a lap time. And Verstappen's actually fallen into the science train as well. So... He's now having to defend. Science on mediums as well, don't forget. The two Ferraris were on mediums. So he's made them work and got through that. But it's kind of important that he does. There's been another incident. Not enough to cause any kind of safety car. It's the old classic Sonoda. I'm not quite sure why Magnus is rubbish. rubbish. Maybe, he's, maybe he had an incident. There's been a couple of incidents so far. I haven't clocked who did all of them. I think an Alpha Tower was one of them. You see, that kind of one actually hindered our lap. Because they kind of ended up kind of awkwardly defending. And there goes Magnussen again. Because we're vaguely entering the territory where we can probably just about make a hard tyre work. Oh, there goes Gasly. And now Gasly's going to have to wait for everyone. We well, actually had DRS despite being in the lead there. Uh, just because he happened to be behind the line. And then he just spins. Well, cheers, Pierre. Kind of glad he's on the hard tyre because he can make this work now. He had to wait all the way to 12th. That's awkward. I mean, I'm glad there was a gap there. How he can come out in the gap between the two trains, I don't know. But I say there was a gap between Hamilton and Russell, and there was a gap between the Claire and Pare uh, Perez. But never mind. He's got three seconds to get caught up on that train, and he probably will do. But now Mix is driving by himself. How's he doing for tyres? Uh, okay. I can slam the tyres at the end, though, which is good. But it's kind of a case of just waiting for Pierre to get caught up now, if he actually can. You know what, Pierre? It might be worth you just driving a tad aggressively for a little bit and pushing that fuel now as well. Get caught up to that train. I mean, the train's headed by Perez. Yeah, without the benefit of a DRS swapping over time, Verstappen is catching because they're, ga they're gaining that benefit. Such a pain. So Mick's now going to have to defend again. You know what I should have done? I should have put Mick behind Gasly for a few laps and just told him not to do it so I could get his DRS back. Don't push the tires too up here. Just use the fuel now. You're close to getting on the back of that. So, in fact, actually, you've got a you've got ERS, haven't you? So, use it. Use it to get into the train, Pierre. Oh, Mick's actually close to pit stop window. Okay. Mick's close to his pit stop window. Didn't realise he was that close. Three laps to go until his optimal pit stop lap. Uh, would come out. Mm. Don't need to push the fuel now, Pierre. You're in the train. Yeah. As science gets Mick, in a weird way. Now's the time to harvest Mick. I think he's going to get him back, actually. Oh. It's science's fault, apparently. That's science's fault. I never came back after the previous highlight. Well, he was close to his pit stop anyway, so... Might as well just do that. But he's going to have to wait for now. everyone. Uh, what's going on the there? Was the Aston Martin. Something just happened with Pierre as well. I mean, his car's fine. I think Ocon crashed into Bottas. I mean, that's going to benefit Mick. I never saw the replay for Science and Mick. A medium's not going to get to the end of the race is the problem. But I just have to ignore it. Oh, well, that's a shame. The Claire pits off his mediums as well. Science might be broken, but we've been trapped behind Bottas, who's been going slowly anyway. I mean, it's a VSC, so maybe that wouldn't have made a difference. Pierre's back up to seventh temporarily, but he's 11 seconds behind Perez now because of all those incidents and getting stuck behind people. Mick comes out, God, 17th? And behind Ocon. I could probably continue to harvest here, actually. <laughs> Push that fuel again to get back into this DRS train. Which you have done. Alright, so Sonoda's causing problems here. I haven't got a huge amount of ERS, but I did save a little bit up. So if we can get past maybe one of these, that would be great. Mick, if we can get past one of these, that would be great, Mick. I see you're doing something that does not even vaguely resemble overtaking here. I mean, get, si get science, that would be interesting. Alright, so if you can get Ocon, that would be great. Oh, well, we'll watch that highlight, because actually in terms of overtaking highlights, we've not had any. Oh, dear. Now, there's a VSC, so it wasn't a clean race anyway. So there goes one less clean race from the history back. Books. They said history banks there. Now he's coming in early, of course, on these tyres as well. So I can't. Oh, he's gone through Ocon there. What happened there? I want to see. I want to see that replay. 
Let's watch this spectacular overtake where we utilize the latest in the Formula One technology, the phasing device. Wait, did Ocon pick on? Hang on, has Ocon pitted onto mediums? Oh, you fool. I think it's because his car was broken, so we had to switch onto the other tire. Mick, if you can get like a double overtake done here, that would be great. You've got Joe Guan Yu there, I think. But if you can also get Sonoda, which you have done, superb work. You can start making work and trying to get onto the back of... What is it? Bottas? Which is being held up by Sergeant. Why have you... Sonoda, why are you fighting back? Get lost. All right, so meanwhile, Gasly, driving around by himself still. Seven seconds behind Perez. It's a mini train without uh, Hamilton and Albon, so they are sort of helping each other. Gasly's still got fastest lap. I mean, if we just start gaining a little bit, Mick's going to get into this train with Sonoda, uh, Sergeant soon. He's still fighting off Sonoda, which is a bit irritating. Can oh. you okay, so Ocon got Sonoda, which isn't helpful. Because I need Mick to be the one to get caught up behind Bottas. Mick, I need you to be the one to catch the train ahead. I can't let you get Ocon ahead of you before you reach the people ahead of you. Boom, done. Right, he's within a second of Sergeant. Superb. Can't push that fuel. I mean, Gasly's slowly catching as uh, something's happened somewhere. It might be Magnuson again. J oh, it's Bottas. I keep forgetting to come back. So he's just Bottas of his own regard. Yeah, he's just done, he's done a Pierre. He's done a Pierre. Oh, Mick's gone wide himself. Okay. Okay, so how's Mick ended up behind Ocon? Okay, that's just on Mick. That's fine. Well, it's not fine. It's irritating. But when's his pit stop? Seven laps time? Obviously, every single hold run is still yet to pit. Leclerc's in a really good spot. I really wish Mick could break through his signs, but this is kind of what I feared happening with signs getting through and then Mick not being the one to get in the train. But we've broken the train on Sonoda, at least. So that's one less person in this irritating fight. As signs goes fastest lap, that just, that's one less. That's one more annoyance. I mean, Gasly's vaguely catching those ones ahead still. Pit window's getting close. Signs just threw Ock on. Leclerc's getting annoyingly close. Leclerc's on brand new mediums, actually. I suppose that's one thing to note there. I say brand new, he's on the same as Mick. The problem is Mick is still about a pit stop behind everyone else. So he's not going to gain anything here because he's trapped in this stupid train. I'm just going to let him get a bit of ERS maybe here. Oh, actually, Aggressive didn't really take anything off those tyres. Let's go attack then, Pierre. You might as well keep going. I'll just keep you on attack mode until you run out of tyres. What's your to lead of the situation right now? You are 13 seconds off the lead. You're behind Leclerc now, actually, which might help because he's faster. All right, so don't lose the DRS entirely, Mick. I can see it's 0.7 even through that. So 23 seconds was the situation for them, wasn't it? So that would come out ahead of science still, actually. Behind doing, but ahead of science as things stand. But I might as well keep him on these tyres as long as possible in case there's another incident. There goes Verstappen from the lead. I'm going to wait another lap for Pierre just in case there's another incident here. I mean, Gazi's temporarily in the lead again, but obviously he hasn't pitted. Okay, so this might be the one to go in on. Deploy through the remainder of this lap, Pierre. Leclerc's got fastest lap now as well. He's nicked it off his teammate. Science is in the top 10 now, so he would have got the point for it. So ideally, he comes out ahead of Doohan, I think. Good stop. Oh, sorry, no, sorry. Ahead of Science. It's behind. We knew he was going to be behind Doohan. So he's got a little less on these tyres. Actually, yeah, do deploy, actually. Do deploy. Try to get on the back of Jet Doohan. And by try, I mean just do it immediately without any fuss whatsoever. <laughs> Blimey. Um, he's going hard to soft and hasn't pitted. You're making a hash of this, Pierre. I say he made a hash of it. He somehow cleared it by... Oh, Doohan went wide, that's why. I can say, how did that... I can say, how did he get through and get three seconds immediately? All right, so Schumacher's through a couple of people now. behind. Let's have a look. By the looks things. To... Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. I need him to stay on the back of Ocon here. All right, so let's give him a bit of attention as Vettel's fighting back. That's irritating. Mick, are you within... Okay, so you are within striking distance of Ocon, aren't you? Still, yes. So DRS onto the back of Ocon, please. Ocon's lost sights, meanwhile. Okay, so you deploy for that, keep a bit of ARS. Now just go aggressive on the tyres for a couple of laps. And hopefully that will get you caught up. Okay, has got fastest lap back. Good news. I think someone in the top four just had a moment. All right, so it's got Ocon briefly. Mick will be in the top ten, because Jack Doohan still needs to pit again. But he has to also get Ocon permanently. I think Ocon needs to pit again, but he hasn't done so yet. All right, so I don't need to push these tyres anymore. You're within DRS of Norris. And everyone's on the same tyres here now. Cool. All right, so I need you to get Ocon. What's the gap from doing to Ocon? 2.7. Deploy here. I mean, we saw that one live. We won't watch that one again. I think Doohan is irritatingly holding on to science a little bit. I do. Well, there goes Doohan anyway. Never mind. Hmm. I mean, everyone's even in this train right now. I do think Ocon needs to pit again, which is the most irritating part of this. He might, he might just about make it, but Pierre is 13 seconds off the lead. I mean, unless anything happens that we can capitalise, we've got a nice healthy gap to science if there's a safety car or whatever. Uh, we've effectively got a free pit stop in a safety car here. To go back on mediums as things stand right now, I think would be reasonable. I think with a bit of deployment, we can get Norris. 
There's been a moment. Pierre's ahead. Oh, it's just Lance Stroll doing his obligatory. One more place for Gasly. And a new fastest lap for good measure. 106.1. He's got no ERS left, which is a problem, but... Because I can't really get tactical here, because everyone's on the same tyres. Albon's in fourth. Unfortunately, Ocon's holding us up right now. Otherwise, I kind of feel like we might be able to close on Sainz's smidge, but because Mick's having to defend, he's trapped with Ocon. And Ocon still needs to pit again. Probably. At the very least, he's about to have the benefit of the tyre. Someone's run wide. Why does that never benefit us? Well, that doesn't look good. Has Ocon gone off and then hit Pierre? Ocon's gone off and hit Pierre. I didn't come back again, camera-wise. Oh, sorry, Albon's gone off and hit Pierre, hasn't he? Albon's gone wide and then come back into Pierre. You couldn't see me do that bit. You couldn't just see me... I mean, you probably heard the thump, so you know what I just did there. That's a safety car, isn't it? I mean, how many laps? 18. 30 would... 30 would be softs. Can I actually... I can do it on the strategy, can't I? Soft will get to the end. So if we get to the end... Oh, he's literally on the pit lane right now. Can you dive in? Pit? Oh my god! What the flip? He still came back out with Ocon, so that's kind of okay, but that's unbelievable. I forgot there was actually a hard to soft strategy, which is clearly what some people have done. I can't believe that was literally a case of meters. But there's going to be some hard-sitting ducks now. We just need to charge up. Caught the train. Miles will save it. Looks like, looks like Mick was going for an overtake under the safety car there briefly. So Madison was overtaken. Got loads of energy. Lap, sorry. Um, Pierce still has fastest lap, but Ocon or Mick will get it on these softs. I can't believe that. Because I, because I dared to overtake Norris and did. If I hadn't overtaken Norris, it would have been Norris that was take, would have been taken out there just because it was a train. Are we, are, we, are we having safety car in? Normally, safety car comes in when they allow them to unlap. Okay, one more lap then. I think they'll just accept the fact that Danny Rick's called up and leave it at that. They will. Because they're rude like that. Lap. I kind of forgot it would be like two laps as well of safety car, so... Full everything. It's important that we get Ocon. It's important that we get Ocon. In fact, that actually technically did work out in our favour because we got 1% no more tyre and didn't lose a place. I suppose technically, if he come in the pits first, then he would have come out ahead of Ocon. Because we, we were ahead on track, but... We've got 1% more tyre and we're just attacking off the line. What is this carnage off the line, off the restart? No DRS for two laps as well, which could really help Mick here. Mick, I need you to attack Ocon. Make him defend. All right, so you're on the outside of Ocon here. You've technically got him, but you're going to yield here because the game's stupid. He's got the outside line, which is technically the faster lane, line out there in real life. And he's got him. And Bottas for good measure. Now, stop deploying. Stop pushing the tyre. Now you're 1% less than Ocon, but that'll be fine. You've got the fuel to burn, though. Oh, we rewash that. Okay, so mixed race can be salvaged here. We can certainly get all the hard runners. The medium runners might be a bit difficult. But I think Mick's good for about 6th, at least. 7th. Scythe is 7th. I think we'll be good for that. Depending on how this pans out as well, with all the medium runners behind Leclerc. That's done Leclerc's race right in as well. He was well clear of them lot. All right, so deploy plus Vettel, please. Mick, mate, you're making a hash of this. Just put your car on the inside of him. Just put your car on the inside of him. It's not difficult. There you go, mate. Well done. Took your three bloody, what would be DRS zones. The important thing is to clear sights now, because he's more than a second off Norris, and DRS activates again after this lap. So, Mick, you do understand the concept of car width, right? As another immediate safety car. Safety car. Something happened with Magnussen. Oh, well. I think you ignore now, obviously. Well, we got up to 8th, which is good. Ocon didn't even get out of 11th. What did he do by himself that caused a safety car? Did he do what Ricardo did in practice? Which is bounce off this wall and end up on the track. Well, no, he's actually off the track. Debris, though, I suppose. That's what Ricardo did. And that's why Ricardo's back of the grid right now, because he can't do better than that. No one pitted, interestingly. Lack of DRS might actually help us. Leclerc's race is done here. So we've got one hard runner to clear. And this is going to help our tyre even more. I don't think... I, I think he might come in, actually, this lap. Yeah, it is. I'll flip everything over here. I'll actually go on board for this restart. Let's have a look at the level of chaos ahead of us. Now, he's already positioning himself to have a go at science, which is nice to see. I don't know, I don't know where the official go line is, but it's on the inside of science, and science has tried to crash into Mick there. Outbreaking Carlos. Good work, Mick. Good work, Mick. You're technically off the track there, but we'll make it work. Carlos is being an absolute sod. Keep deploying, mate. Just keep deploying this entire lap, Mick. I'm sorry, Carlos. Where did you just come from? Just get out of the way, Carlos. You're on worse tyres. Just stop fighting this. Okay. Perez has got through the clear as well now. One more lap without DRS again. So it's important to get as many of these medium tyre runners during this as possible. There goes Norris. He's on the outside of Norris. I don't know if he's going to make it stick here or if Norris is going to suddenly appear on the inside again. Here's Eight Russell. He's on the inside of Russell. He's on the inside of Russell. Good work. Good work. Good work. How, how are you slower out of that? Outbreak him here, though. Outbreak him here, Mick. You've got the bare tires. Outbreak him. You know what? I said I said seventh might have been good, but 
I'm eyeing that third place with the Claire now, because he's a second off the Red Bulls. I'm actually going to rewatch that one, because it was a kind of genuine normal overtake in the end. Gotta be careful overtaking Rosler there. He is known to punch you off. Technically, the highlight didn't end with him actually overtaking him. I think Hamilton will easily get the Claire next, because of DRS, which we now have. We could get a two for one here, actually, because Hamilton still didn't get the Claire by the end of that straight, so we might get a two for one here if we're special. We're on the outside of Hamilton. Still deploying. We've got him on deploy there, just to make sure we've got Sawyer arrest at some point. Oh, we've got a little bit of soft tire to burn. So let's see if we... Let's see. I mean, I think Hamilton's going to fight back here, but let's see if we can get closed up to these Red Bulls. I mean, at the very least, maybe this overtake, re-overtake might help us. Come on, get within a second, Mick. Get within a second. Oh, we're just outside it. We, Mick? Well, I think we might actually have it this lap. We're not far off dis... We're not far off tire-wise now. As the Red Bulls are fighting each other, well, we have entered a train with them now. Hamilton is still with us. Four laps to go. Well, two, three and a half laps to go. And Mick is on the tail, these guys. <sighs> it's been a roller coaster for Mick, but the wind's in sight again. We've had to do it the long way around. And actually, with the amount of laps remaining, these soft tyres are going to be beneficial. I don't think at any point in these many few laps that this tyre wear is going to be a fa Oh my god, he's actually going to be on the inside of Perez here. Oh, I thought he was going to go for it there. Oh, Paul Leclerc's down to seventh now. Mick's on the fastest lap for good measure. Oh my god. Oh my god, Mike. Oh my, oh. oh my god, Mick. That was so oh my god, Mick, I nearly forgot how to say his name. I mean, he's retaking the lead here. I suspect this is going to be more of a challenge than it looks. We'll rewatch this, though. Oh, this is the first one where he just simply outbreaks Perez. That's where I forgot how to pronounce his name. All right, off board. I need, to, I need to have a better look at where these two behind are. Yeah, I think Max is going to be re-overtaking here, but to be fair, as long as he's only second, it'll be all right. Oh no, Mick's going back. The grip of these soft tyres. I really don't want a repeat situation of last time. Last time we were in a similar position to this, and we got overtaken on the bloody line for Mix. What I think would still be Mix made and win, because I don't think he won that calendar race. One lap to go. Go for it, Mick. You've got the fuel. Defend. <laughs> Defend with your ERS, Mick. Defend. No, Max. No. Sod off, Max. Find a few corners. I don't know. I don't think DRS activates before the line. Or if it does, it's very close to it. Come on, Mick. Come on, Mick. Oh, you've... Mm -hmm. Yes! Oh. And you... Mm. One day I'll remember to come back. Sorry, Mick. You didn't get to see my overjoyed face there. I could have only got to ninth, remarkably, by the way. Bottas and Bottas ended up out of the points, but I got an achievement there. I need to give Mick's moment now. <laughs> Wasn't on camera when I needed to be. Was on camera when I didn't need to be. I'm doing very well today. Why are we not getting specific Schumacher dialogue here? You love to see it. Come on, Mick! The Schumacher name up in light. Oh, there it is. Yes, Mick. Yes. 25 points. Sergio on the podium doesn't really help him in that respect, but I love the fact those two are relegated to the other two talented drivers. Wait, hang on. Mick won that race. Why aren't we celebrating with Mick outside for this thing like we were last time? <sighs> Poor Pierre took out of that race. I mean, I suppose that's technically karma for Canada on his part, where he effectively put Mick out of the race. But I kind of hate the fact that the Pierre was taken out just by virtue of being the car that happened to be in the way when Albon got back on track. Because that would have been Lando. Lewis had a good race. He yeah, ended up full still. So close to a podium. Mick doesn't actually gain any places there. Oh, Mick got the point for pole, didn't he? Perez must have got fastest lap at the end. Somehow. I don't know how Mick didn't get fastest lap on soft tyres. But all right. Certainly his first win this year. I need to double check if that was his first first win. I think it is. And I'm so happy for him. Lando actually goes back up to 10th. They're fighting for that 10th now. And Lewis... Lewis joins our fight with the Mercs. Yeah. <laughs> but... Yeah, Mick very much closes this deal up between Sergio Sainz and himself. Only 12 points separate them three now. And with no points for Pierre, that has actually made things a little bit more interesting at the top. First poll, first win, and the gap does technically close by eight points. Still 60 points clear. I feel sorry. 1,400 points for Mick. 26 overtakes, that's why. 23 successful defends. 22 failed overtakes. Disappointing, it wasn't really his fault. And we don't have to pay Pierre out for his bonus either. And the upgrade is back from memory room, so we'll just check in with those staff. We'll give him his point first. Uh, we'll get defending back up to 70. And he gets his 80 as well. It's all coming up Mick this episode. It's all coming up Mick. Pierre actually does have a development point in the background there. Just F1 school's invitation. Staff experience gained for one day. Sh sure, we'll be kind. Um, oh, it's the voting changes. Okay. Point allocation changing. Absolutely not. Get rid of it. This is what I will save and restart on if I don't get it, because I'm not changing the point structure. So we'll quickly check in with staff. 
and see if either the top two are now interested. No, okay. So we will hold off onto that major upgrade in like 40 days time. Oh, actually his race engineer's got one. I actually do want Pierre to get his feedback up a little bit more because he's a little bit slower. Okay, I figured I'd just go forward until we got this vote back. I don't need to do anything. People were sensible in the end. We voted against it as a whole. Weirdly, Ferrari and McLaren voted for it. Actually, worst of all, Williams voted for it. We should have been massively against them because the points only went down to eighth. So yeah, that's good news. No nonsensical points systems next year. Can we just have the option in F1 Manager 23 to just not have points changes as an option? I, I, don't, I generally can't think of anyone who would actually be for, before changing the point structure at this point in time. Adding pole points, taking off fastest lap point, whatever, sure. Double points, final race, sure, whatever. Those are a little bit, little bit fun, little minor tweaks, but the overall point structure, I can't think of anybody who would want to change that. But anyway, I will see you next time for Paul Ricard in France with the now 80 rated Mick Schumacher and the now race winning Mick Schumacher. You do indeed love to see it. If you enjoy this episode, like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. And until next time, ta -ra.